Aha, Patricia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? I'm fine. I am not good. I I have the flu. Oh no. But it's a normal flu, right? Hello, hello. Yes, a normal flu. <laughs> okay, let's pray for it. Let's hope it's just a normal flu, honey. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna Jansi. How are you? I am fine, thank you. Excellent. You look fine, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls, vamos a esperar unos minutitos a que sus compañeros se conecten, all right? Yes, teacher. All right. No. No te mereces para nada eso. Hello, Ana Yancy. Hola, Ana Patricia. How are you? I am fine, thank you. And you? I am not, not, I, I, I not feel good. I have ah. a flu. Oh. Uh, how do you say? Um, Good evening. Hola. Good evening, Laura. How are you? Good evening, Laura. I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Have you noticed that uh, actually most of the classes only girls have been involved? <laughs> only girls. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> no, we're missing the male collaboration <laughs> or participation. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Eliana, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. All right, girls, we're going to wait two more minutes before starting the class, all right? So okay, you can grab okay. your coffee if you want, <laughs> or you can stay in there. So, Patricia, are you drinking something for the flu? Yeah. Um, in the morning, I I take a anti-allergic. Mm -hmm. Because I think that was allergic. Okay. Um, in the noon, I take another. And in the afternoon, bueno, the whole about day? Uh, 5 p.m., I take another anti allergic and and anti flu. <laughs> uh, anti flu. Oh my gosh, Patricia, but you need to sleep maybe. Yes, but I I was in the work and uh, um, it's impossible. My co-workers don't give me incapacidad. <laughs> they don't give you free time. No. Because you are sick. Oh my gosh. Okay, just give me one second, everyone. I'm going to close my window because that dog it's like crazy outside. Okay, I'll be right back.
So let's see, Laura, how was your day? Good, pretty good. Pretty good. Was it tired yeah. or not? No, not me. <laughs> no, yes. Yeah, you look like fresh and all those things. <laughs> yes, happy and exciting. Exciting. <laughs> That's the mood. That's Very it's good. Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. You need to start the week. Friday it's another history. Huh? On Friday we're another person. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. We're two different kind of persons. On Monday it's like yeah. on Friday it's like yeah. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Let me share with you the PPT. I have it in here. So let's see before the starting. Um, when you say that I ask you things like, how was your day? How are you today? It's because I want you to practice how to express yourself without having a guideline, right? Let's see how do we express ourselves. So how was your day, Ileana? I'm fine. You're fine. And your day was cool or tired? Mm, little tired. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right, excellent. Actually, on Mondays, we always have traffic, same as Friday, but it's good to know that you're okay, girls. All right, so welcome to today's class. It's a pleasure to have you and to know that you're safe and sound. And Patricia, I hope you get better during the week. Um, Thanks. <laughs> yes. Um, today is Monday, August 30. Yay, finally, we're just about to finish August. I was feeling like it was really long. <laughs> so let's see, we are still in section two. How do you spend your day? Class number five, right? So there you have it. Let me move along. What do you remember? All right. If you remember last class, we saw pretty much a lot of content and I'm pretty sure you have your notes and all those things. So let's check how we do in remembering topics. Number one, what are the two auxiliaries that we have in simple present? Let's see, Jansi, let's see if you remember, we only have two auxiliaries in simple present. Excuse me, teacher. Number one, what are the two auxiliaries that we have in simple present? Uh, do, do I really snow? No, perdón. Uh, do I? Okay. We, do is the first auxiliary that we have. What's the other auxiliary that we have? For we? No. We? Person? For third person? Das. 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 Okay, this? Uh -huh. ah. And das. Those are the auxiliaries that we have. Don't remember, Jancy, because when I ask you, don't forget, sorry. <laughs> uh, when I ask you to create sentences using <clears throat> auxiliaries, you need to know that those are the auxiliaries that we have. Do and does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Let's see, Patricia, which subjects can I use with do? Uh, we use, we do, um, I, you, they and we. All right, excellent, very good. Very good, thank you. Laura, which subjects can I use with us? Yes, we use C, C, and E. Excellent, very good, there you have it. I need you to, to get this or to keep this in mind. Because when we are doing exercises or like when we are creating sentences, 
we need to remember, right? Although it's it might be a little bit difficult, but I'm pretty sure that if you take notes, you will always remember. Now, let's check. Last week on Friday, we had this activity, right? Like practicing with exercises, extra exercises. Some of them, all of them are in simple present. Some of them, in some of them you're going to use do or does. In another ones, you're going to use the verb interperson without the auxiliaries and things like that. So I'm just like recalling, right? Some of them, some of them are going to be developed with auxiliaries, other ones are not going to be developed with auxiliaries. So we are stayed, um, last class we stayed on, let me see, I think it was number six, because Patricia told me the answer, which it was, Patricia? Um, uh, who pay for, the, for your car expenses? Mm -hmm. who, who pays pay for? Uh, who pays for your car expenses? Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Number seven, Ileana. Um, the shops doesn't close until nine. All right. Thank you. Right now we are just giving the answers, right? I have the answers in here, so then you can check them. All right. Thank yeah. you for your participation. Um, number eight laura number eight is error receive the ball and kick into the net excellent very good number nine john c let's see if you remember how to use it number nine uh, say no, does, doesn't take time a day. All right, thank you for your participation, Jancy. We will see. Right now we are just like saying, I believe it's this and I believe or I think it's this and that, right? But we will see. Thank you, Jancy. And remember that in simple present, we have different kinds of questions, right? We have questions with auxiliaries, we have double H questions, and we have just no questions, which, which are the ones that start with verb to be, right? So let's see, number 10. Patricia, let's see what do you have for number 10? Um, uh, In this one, you need an auxiliary. But, Does he always use his cell phone for long distance calls? All right, let's see. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone, because I know you've been practicing and I'm proud of you. Let's check. Let me move this and there you have it. These are the answers. For number one, we have gods, right? Number two, take. Simple as that. Three, we have an auxiliary and we have the other verb normal. I won't change, okay? Does the airplane fly to Paris? Remember, let's keep an eye on this one. If you have an auxiliary, you don't need to change the verb. You don't need to say, does the airplane fly to Paris? You don't need to say that because you already have your auxiliary. Number four, doesn't finish, okay? The semester doesn't finish until the end of June. Number five, Tony usually tries to call his mother in the mornings. In an auxiliary because we have our verb in third person singular. Number six, who pays? Very good job, who pays for your car expenses, All right? I don't have an auxiliary, but I do have a double H word, and I need my verb interperson 
singular. I, I don't have an auxiliary in number six, so I need my verb in third person singular. Number seven, the shops don't close. Now listen, in this one, in this one, it should be doesn't close until 21 p.m. or a.m. p.m., right? Or 12. Let's pay attention to this one because sometimes many people get confused into it and this answer might not be correct, right? Because we are using auxiliaries. So when it does, because we're talking about the shops. Then we have number eight. Gerard receive, receives the ball and kicks into the net. If you notice, both verbs are in third person singular. That means that we can use them in third person singular, two or more verbs. And lastly, we have number nine. How many? times a day do you take your dogs for a walk? Do you remember um, double H words? Inside of double H words, we have how many? It's categorized as a double H word. So we should take it into account. And last but not least, we have number 10. Does he always use his cell phone for long distance calls? Distance calls? And that's it. Do you have any questions about these exercises, my dear students? <clears throat> I have a question. Uh -huh. With exercise number seven, the shot we use. Doesn't, you need doesn't in that one. This answer is not correct. Don't. Yeah, I mean, you can use doesn't. It's not that it's not correct, but as we are using auxiliaries in simple present, we should use doesn't. Yes, in number seven, we use don't close or doesn't close. No, that's what I'm telling you. You should use doesn't close. Until, and, and uh, actually, if you notice, you have a preposition on it, until. So you need doesn't. That's <laughs> what I'm telling you. This answer, don't close, is not correct. You need doesn't. The shop doesn't close until. Close until. Okay, thank you. There you had. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was clarifying this part that you don't need to use don't close. You need to use doesn't. All right. Any other question? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh -huh. In the number 10, we can use why he always. Yeah, because always is not a verb. <laughs> it's a number of time. Why he always use his cell phone. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, because you're, uh, yes, you can use why, but in this case, you need to use the auxiliary. Does he always use his cell phone for long distance calls? Okay. Remember, remember everyone, basically simple present, it's pretty wide open, right? It has different uses as you already saw. You have different uses, you have different steps to use in simple present. So you need to be careful in which context are you going to use some of the double H words. I'm not sure if you remember <clears throat> that like two classes ago, I told you that sometimes we need to see in which contents, context are we going to use a double H word to create a question, okay? So just keep that in mind. Sometimes context change, so we need to be careful. How do are we using the double H words? All right? Okay, thanks. More questions? Questions? Is everything clear? Uh -huh, Adriana, you have a question? Yes, good evening. Good evening, welcome. 
Thank you. Um, and number three, I, I don't understand the use the verb does. Remember that does is your auxiliary, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know if you remember this. I'll show, I show you last class that with these subjects we can use do and with these ones we can use does, right? Yes. So as airplane, it's not a it's not a he or a she or a you or we. The equivalent is it, right? We use it for yes. objects or also animals or different stuff. So that's why you need to use that auxiliary does the airplane the airplane. Wait a minute, let me check. Fly, uh huh? Fly to Paris. That's the only way in which you can create that one with the auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Not sure okay. yet? No, no, I don't hear. Okay, let's see. What's like giving you issue in here? What's like your main issue or your problem with, with number three? <clears throat> because I... I... I hope they use, uh, for example, uh, the question uh, word or mm, double H word. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I was telling you girls before. And, and guys, now that we have Kevin in class, hello, Kevin, welcome. And Nestor, hello. All right, everyone. Now, let's pay attention to this one. In simple present, we have, have you already noticed? We have double H words. We have questions with B, which are the ones that starts with B. And we also have questions with auxiliaries. We use the auxiliary when we don't have another way to express something. That's one of the ways in which we can use an auxiliary. With that being said, doesn't mean that you're going to use forever auxiliaries, right? Sometimes we can use double H words, and other times it's going to depend on the context in which we are being developed, okay? So if you notice in this one, according to you, which double H word could I use? What or why? Okay, let's listen if that sounds correct. What that airplane flies to Paris? What? Is, do you think that's correct? Just listen to it. What that airplane flies to Paris? Mm -hmm. ¿Le parece no, atractivo, that? Adriana, o le, o le tiene sentido la oración si le ponemos el no. what? No. All right. Neither why, why that airplane flies to Paris. No podríamos preguntarle no. por qué, por qué va sí, para sí. París, si tal vez ya es un viaje destinado, right? Mm -hmm. But we, we want to know if that airplane goes to Paris or flies to Paris. And that's why we need our auxiliary. Okay. When you're Thank asking. You. Thank you, teacher. All right, there you have it. All right, everyone, if there are no more questions, we should move or we should step forward, all right? Now, just to recall, I'm pretty sure you remember this, we do, as Patricia mentioned, with I, you, we, and they. We use does, as Laura mentioned, with he, she, it, as, yeah, Laura, I think so. And then please don't forget this one. Double H, close auxiliary, plus subject, plus verb, base form, plus complement, plus question mark. This is another one. This is another one, actually, if you notice. In this one, you have a double H before the auxiliary. And you have another ones that only start with do or does, okay? We have different kind of questions, and that's what I'm trying to to help you to see that we are not only one specifically, we have more 
than one way to ask something. And then you have the guiding examples. Let's see, Eliana, please read number one. One, when do you want to meet me? Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Number two, Adriana, please. Why does Beth always complain so much? Mm -hmm, exactly, very good, thank you. Uh, Kevin, number three. Three, how much does the ticket cost? Excellent, thank you. And Diane Mata, please, number four. Why don't you ever go on vacation? Mm -hmm. Excellent, there you have it, my dear students. So if you're noticing here, a double H word, close my auxiliaries, okay? I also, I'm able in simple present, I'm able to start or to begin my question with auxiliaries, without the need of double H words, okay? As we saw in the exercises. Let's move forward. <coughs> practice time. Now this is your time to practice. Instructions, let me see. Veronica, please read the instructions. What did you do on your free time? All right, thank you. That's the example. That's what you're going to do, everyone. You're going to work for, of course, individually, and you're going to create one question using do or does it. Remember that you can start your question with do or does, or you can have a double H word at the beginning. That's your choice, okay? This is just my example. Let me know when you're finished. Finish. 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 Very good. All right. We may start. And please don't write in the in the screen. All right. Let's see. I'm going to need Eliana. Let's see, Eliana. Tell me your question. Okay. Where do you live? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. You're using a double H. Los auxiliary. Very good. Let's see. Laura. What do you remember of your last vacation? Repeat again, please. What do you remember of your last vacation? All right. Excellent. Very good. Great. It's correct. Patricia. What do they cook in the party this weekend? All right, yeah, excellent. You're using in pass. Uh, what did you do this that you say, right? Or uh -huh. what do you do? What do they cook? What, ah, do, they what cook? do they cook? All right, all right, yeah, that's correct. Thank you. 
let's have Adriana. Let's see Adriana. Which WH question word? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use double H question plus your auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Why do you don't get married? Mm -hmm. Why don't you get married? <laughs> Excellent. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Why don't you get married? Let's see. Diane. Does he know the movie we are going to watch? Excellent, very good, very good. Let's go with Nestor. I'm not sure if Nestor is at home. Okay, what do you do in Saturday? Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, very good. What do you do on Saturday? Let's see, Anna Jansi. Uh, what do you to, no, what do today? Okay, now let's check that one. You are talking about something that already passed. So in that case, my auxiliary is going to be in past. But right now we are using simple present. Mm. Something um, like a schedule or things that you usually do. For example, what do you do in the morning? All right. Mm -hmm. la, opción, la, la opción que usted está diciendo ahorita, Jancy, ya pasó. What do you today? Mm -hmm. um, what do you what do uh, tonight? All right. Like in this one, what do you do? What? No, in that one, you should use a progressive one. What are you going to do? And that's another topic. You need only present. Uh, basically, Jancy, when, you, when you're using present, your verb is not changing. You're talking about habitual things, actions that you do every day. For example, I brush my teeth every day. What do you do in the morning? What do you do in the afternoon? What do you do at night? Ah, you can use that one. What do you do at night? Okay. Uh, now, uh, what do you today? What do you do today? You cannot because today, right now we are at night. You cannot use today. You can use today if you say, what did you do today? What did uh Pero ese ya no sería present. Ahí ya me lo pasó a pasado. Que también eh, es un auxiliar. What do you what do you now? Okay, what do you do now? All right, excellent. Yeah, let's suppose that someone is doing something and you ask them, what do you do now? Yeah, that's correct, Jancy. Thank you very much. We can use it that way. Do not worry. Let's go with Kevin. Why does he like the green color? All right, excellent. Very good. Veronica, please. I don't know if it's Repeat again. Sorry, Veronica, I couldn't hear you because I heard some dogs noises. So can you repeat that again, please? Are you in, Veronica? Sorry, I don't not eat meat. You don't know how to use double H plus auxiliary. Or, or that's your question. All right, Veronica, let's see. Can you please 
put in the chat your sentence so that I'm able to understand your question. If you can, of course, if you will. If not, do not worry. Everyone, please remember that this is your practice time. I'm pretty sure you, you do not practice during the day, not because you don't want to, just because sometimes we don't have with who to practice, right? We don't have anyone to practice with. And that's why I'm telling you, take advantage of this time. Let's see, let's move on. We have time expressions. This conversation is part of your platform, right? Let's see, I'm going to have Eliana, you're going to be Helen. And Nestor, you're going to be Daniel, action. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, da Daniel, you me. Right? Yes, you are Daniel. Uh, so, uh, do you usually come to gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Uh, really? Uh, what time do you do? Uh, do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Whoa! Uh, what late? Uh, when do you do? Do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? Uh, that is late. What do you do exactly? I'm exactly. At, <laughs> I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KMTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are Helen back. I, I love your show by, by the way I'm done. Excellent, very good. Excellent, guys. Now let's repeat together, Ileana. Recognize. Repeat, please. Recognize. Oh. After K oh, and okay. TV, don't you recognize? Recognize, recognize, recognize. Excellent, very good. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a hard word. <laughs> recognize. Thank you, Ileana. Thank you. Nestor, repeat after me. Usually. Uh, re uh, repeat. Usually, in the first uh, sentence. Usually. Uh, yeah. Usually. Three times. Usually. Usually. Excellent, very good. Thank you so much. Now let's go with Patricia. Hi, Patricia, you look tired. Um, and Adriana. Uh, Patricia, you're going to be Daniel, and Adriana, you're going to be Helen. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Uh, I don't listen. Really? <laughs> okay, really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recon recognize me? Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I am Daniel. <laughs> Excellent, really good job, thank you. Let's go with Laura, and you're going to practice with Jancy. Laura, you are Daniel, Helen, no, Jancy, you are Helen. <laughs> Action. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? 
I work in the afternoon. I start work at five at night. Oh, that's late. When do you get home at night? Uh, I usually get get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? Uh, I am on TV answer and do I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't don't you recognize me? You're Helen Black. I love your show, by the way. Daniel. Excellent. Very good job. Excellent. Let's see. Jancy, repeat after me. Announcer. Announce answer. Announcer. 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 Yeah, like I'm a TV announcer. Ad uh, on TV, an answer. Uh -huh, all right, excellent. Thank you. On yeah. TV, an answer. There you have it. Thank you. Let's go with Kevin and Diane Mata. All right, Kevin, you're going to be Daniel. And Diane, you're going to be Helen. Action. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Oh, that's late. When do you get to home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are Helen Black? I love your show, by the way. I'm Daniel. Excellent. Really good, guys. Excellent. Now, that was pretty great. Now, let's see. This part, when you when you read, by the way, it's like pretty used when we are talking. And sometimes you are going to see the acronyms of BTW, which it means by the way, BTW. So you can use it in every occasion whenever you want to use it, or whenever you need to use it, by the way, all right? That was just like <laughs> another part of this, but it's good that you are incorporating vocabulary on your daily basis. And we can start with things like that, using words that maybe we usually don't use, but now we can use it, all right? There you have it, thank you, everyone. Let's move on to prepositions of time and adverbs of time. Let's see. I have, well, you will see this as a part of the platform and I want you to develop the pronunciation in here. So I'm going to check. Let's start with Patricia, please. The first sentence completely. Uh, I get up at seven in the morning on weekend. Excellent, thank you. Anna Jansi, number two, please. I go. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on, on weekend nights. Week nights. Week nights. Week nights. And evening, repeat, evening. Evening, evening, evening. Excellent, really good. I will have Diane, number three, please. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. Excellent, thank you. Nestor, number four. I get home late uh, night on three days. Okay, repeat after me, Nestor, Fridays? Fri Fridays, mm -hmm. Fridays, Fridays. Excellent, thank you so much. Adriana, number five, please. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. 
Thank you very much. And last one, let's see. Kevin, please, number six. I wake up before afternoon on Sundays. Excellent, very good. It means <coughs> in this one we can use either, either before or after, right? Or you can say before after, but that's that's another thing. In here, you can use either before or after, either or, okay? Excellent, thank you so much. Now, expressing the clock. Let's see, I need to ask you, how are we doing with expressing the time? Let's see. Do you feel that you have a lot of like mistakes when expressing the time? Tell me, because if that happens, I can help you for next class with vocabulary, incorporating vocabulary about expressing the time clock. I have a difficult on the clock mm -hmm. because okay. it cost me a lot to say like 715. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's 715 or, or, seven or like 15. Uh -huh. All right, excellent. Good that you told me, Diane. So tomorrow I'm going to break. That's why I'm asking you, everyone. Because if we have like, like issues in those topics, I can help you more. Although it's not focused, of course, like specifically in the platform, but I can help you. I can bring more material for you to practice. Thank you, Diane. All right, everyone. Now, with this being said, you already saw this, let's move on. I know it looks pretty much a lot, but it's not a lot. It's just that the font of the letter, right? <laughs> it's not a lot, Belinda. So let's see, I'm going to have Laura, please help me uh, with the reading. Okay. Preposition of time. What is the preposition of time? A preposition of time is a preposition that allows to allows you to no alcanza a ver porque me tapa eso. A preposition of time is a preposition that allows you to discuss a specific time period such as the date on the calendar. One of the days of the week or the actual time something takes, takes place. Preposition of time are the same words as prepositions of place. However, they are used in a different way. You can easily distinguish this preposition as they always discuss times greater than place. There you have it. Thank you, Laura. It was long, I know. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> there you have it. it pay specifically uh, attention to this part. Prepositions of time are the same words as preposition of place. And you will see this in pretty much tons of books and information. Why? Why means if they are different? One more thing about English. Many things are going to change depending on the context. Okay? Maybe in Spanish where it used to be like, I use this in here and here and this, and that's it. But in English, we have different ways to express something or different ways to use something. In this case, as you clearly may see, we have the same words as prepositions of place used in prepositions of time. All right, you may take notes of this if you want. Not all of it, of course, <laughs> just the important parts. <clears throat>
All right. If you already take notes about this, let me know. If you notice in here, it says, as they always pay, as they always discuss times rather than places. It's the same thing as this one, right? If you have prepositions of place, most of them are the same, the same ones as prepositions of time. So you need to be careful not to get confused according to the context in which you are going to use, right? With that being said, let me see. I'm going to move on. All right, we can move forward. We have this proposition of time. Now, the following information that I'm gonna show you, my dear students, it's pretty uh, interesting because in some of them you're going to be weird things, all right? Let's see, we have at. This is the first proposition that we have, propositions of time, at. Let's see, Adriana, please help me with the reading. At this preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including including its exceptions such as night. Excellent. Thank you very much. So we have the examples. Jancy, please read the examples. Yanzi, can you please read the examples? Sí, excuse me. I walk to work at A in the morning. This one's about at. Ah, we have class at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. The other one? Hello? The other one, the second one? Ah, uh, we have class at a at night. All right, thank you, Jancy. Now, everyone, don't forget to pronounce classes. In this one, we're not talking about one class, we're talking about more than one class, right? So make sure, and I'm telling you this as a way of helping you, because sometimes we make the mistake that we don't pronounce uh, completely the whole, the whole word. In this case, it's classes, right? just for you to keep in mind. And there you have it. It says that we can also include exceptions such as night, which it means that we can use it. I'm going to see you at night. I'm using night, so that's no problem at all. Let's move forward. We have in. Ileana, please read the information about in. Okay. In this preposition of time is used to discuss general time of day, except night, month, years. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. And I'm going to need <clears throat> Nestor, please tell me the examples. We have class in the morning. Classes? Yeah, cl we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico um, uh, one night. Uh, eight in nine. 19? 19? In 19? 89. 89. All right, thank you, Nessa. Now, my dear students, let's pay attention to this one. This preposition, the, uh, and I want to be clear with this. 
The information says that we generally discuss time with this preposition, except nine months or days or years. That's not true. We can include, as you may see in the examples, we can include nine months and years, okay? So just for you to keep in mind, this information is not like completely exact, you know, like completely right. And this is a nice way to say it um, because you, you can indeed, you can indeed use in for months and years. Actually, that's one of the uses. So in this case, you can uh, erase that information if you want, because yes, you can use it for months and years, right? Are we clear with this one or we have questions? Uh -huh, Danita? Miss, uh, 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 the use in, in, in months and uh -huh. years is correct. Yes, you can use it. I don't know why this information I, I, says that. Uh -huh. It says okay. except, but no, that's what I'm trying to, to, to tell you guys, that you can use it. You have to use it, actually. Okay? So do not pay that much of attention of this one. Because you can you can use in in the in the in, I went to Mexico in nineteen eighty nine. Exactly, exactly. So I'm telling you. Uh, sometimes it happens that even books make mistakes. <laughs> even books have mistakes. Things are not perfect. So for a reason, for some reason or another, this information has that mistake that it says that you cannot use it for night or months or years when you can. Okay. Just I want to be very clear with this. You can use it. You are allowed to use it. All right. You're allowed to use. It. But as I told you, this is just as a reference, so I cannot change that, all right? But yeah, I wanted to be very clear because that happened with the last group that I had. They told me, Miss, but it says that you cannot use it and the sentences are using it. And I'm like, yeah, you see that things happen, even in books happen. They made mistakes and there's no other way to correct them. <laughs> Si salen al aire, salen al aire, los libros. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. But yes, you Thank can you. use it. You can use it. All right. Let's move on with on. The last proposition that we have. I will need Patricia. If you, if you can, Patricia, if you can talk, you can read the information, please. Oh. This proposition of time, of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of day of the week, specific dates. Excellent. Thank you, Patricia. I will have Diane help me with the examples. Diane, please. Examples. We will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Diane. Now, these are the only three prepositions that we have right now, right? As an example. Remember, don't don't get uh, don't got don't get scared when you see on when talking about a place or in when talking about a place or at when talking about a place because they are used also to talk about places, okay? Just for you to, to remember that, okay? If not, you're going to be like, Miss, I saw this, but with a place, is that is that correct? <laughs> and yeah, it's correct. It's going to depend on which context you are. Just copy that one. And now it's your time to practice. Create 
only. Right now, only one sentence using the preposition at. Okay? On your notebooks, create only one sentence using the preposition at. Finished? Finish. 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 Very good. Finish. All right, let's start our sharing. Who wants to participate first? Raise your hand or tell me. Hi, teacher. Excellent, Patricia, tell me. I get up at 5.30 in the morning. Excellent, there you have it, very good. Simple as that. Let's go with another girl who wants to participate. Yeah, teacher. Ah, okay, excellent, tell me. I take a shower at 6 a.m. Excellent, very good, now you see? Pretty simple, right? Thank you, let's go with Adriana. <laughs> yes, Adriana, I was thinking about you, Adriana. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah. The Monday to Thursday, no, Thursday, I have English class with Miss Vasquez at 8 p.m. Excellent, very good, yes, yes, indeed. But it's from Monday to, okay, from? The Monday, the Monday to Thursday, no. Uh -huh. From Monday to? From Monday. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. Laura, let's see Laura. Okay. I got to bed at 10 p.m. at I don't know. Sorry, again. I go to bed at 10 p.m. on weekday. All right, excellent. Very good. You're right. <laughs> and let's go with Nestor. Yeah, <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> All right, excellent. Yeah, it's it. Remember that we are still in part of simple present, so it's okay because that's that's like your routine. So it's okay, Nestor. Thank you, Jancy. Uh, I went to bed at eleven p.m. Okay, I go, Jancy. I go to bed. I go to bed at eleven p.m. Excellent, very really good. And Diane. We have a dinner at 7 p.m. Excellent, there you have it, girls. Very really good job, excellent. All right, my dear students, it's the moment that I say goodbye because I have another course. All right, so take care. It was a pleasure to see you and have a great night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night.